kind of close enough to know each other that you don't want to train against each other just in case you get an opportunity to to compete. And, you know, I actually said the same to uh, Livesy, you know, he put on his, um, on his Instagram and he's like, listen, I just want like big fights and big names. He's not like a championship fighter where he's going to have a run in a tournament. He just wants these big freak matches, right? Like your, your Romero's and whatever. <laughs> uh, and I said, listen, bro, we'll get some training. And if you want, like, let's, let's train with each other. Let's see how it is. Or if you want to compete, we can compete. Like if you want a freak show match, in my opinion, there's no better match than like who's the best in Britain. And it's North versus South. We'll do it in the middle, we'll sell out an arena. And I really feel like we would sell out an arena. You know, like I said, people love me or hate me. So I'm either going to have a hundred people wanting me to win or a thousand people <laughs> hoping I lose to post it on Reddit. Uh, and, you know, Owen's going to be there doing his thing. He's got a huge fan base. And I think it's an incredible match. We've both fought at 99. We've both beat similar people, both lost to similar people. You know what I mean? Paul Larry. I'd, I'd watch it, mate. I'd watch it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you know what? I'm down. I really am. Um, and listen, I don't know the politics and ins and outs of some of these shows, but, you know, it is tough. No one wants to see their guy get beat, right? Because he's obviously sponsored and by Paul Harris, so they don't want to give him a match that necessarily he could lose because I would say technically, jiu-jitsu-wise, I feel better than him. Uh, I think he has an advantage on the feet and in the wrestling. I will, I will give you a, a wink on that one, maybe. Um, <laughs> but I feel like jiu-jitsu-wise, I'm a, I'm a better all-round complete um, jiu-jitsu player I do feel that um, and that's I'm not taking anything away from him because I think he's incredible what he's done for uh, UK martial arts and his sport and how candid and open he is with his like thoughts and opinions on social media like I really do commend him I think he's a he's a great person and you know yeah he is he's done a lot hasn't he we're not in similar positions but you know he's got a young family a partner he's running an academy I know the challenges I understand the challenges that he faces and I face um, and I have nothing but absolute professional and personal respect for him, I do. Um, and there's not many people I would say that about that I potentially would be interested with a match. So um, I'd love to do it. Uh, I don't know if Paul Harris will see this. Hopefully they will. <laughs> we'll, we'll clip it, mate. Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Do you know what I mean? And, and, and uh, like I say, it's a battle of Britain. I love it. I love the thing the is with Owen it. as well. The thing is with Owen as well. He just don't give a fuck. He, he, you know, he'd, he'd be That's like, he'd saying. be like, and yeah. That, he would just be like, yeah, no worries, mate. I feel I'll like fight in you. a similar position. Like, he's just about it. I'm just about it. Let's just have a match. Yeah. Have a crack. See what happens. <laughs> do you know what I mean? There's, you know, I don't have fear of losing matches. I really don't. Like, I lost that fear a while ago when you lose to people that you, you shouldn't have. So, uh, I think it'd be a great match. I think it'd be a great spectacle. Just, and I wouldn't, I'd want it to be like half an hour, mate. I want to, I want it to be like going. You know what I mean? I hate it when it ends early. Give us 30 minute time limit. Um, let's see. I'd yeah, be so that, excited mate. for that match. It'd be wicked. Do it in the pit as well. Do it in the pit. Nowhere to go, mate. Do it in the pit, man. The way is that in Wigan? I don't know. I'll get a Wigan burger. I'll have a pie on the bread and butter and we'll get going. But but I'm just saying, like, I, I know for sure, like, if it was in the middle of the, the UK, Birmingham, we'd sell it out up there. He'd sell it out. Uh, it really would. I think it'd be, a, I, I think genuinely, there's some incredible athletes in the UK. You've got your Taylors, you've got your Owen Flanagan's, you've got uh, all of these top guys and they are incredible genuinely uh, I think they're great and you know they're going to ADCCs and CGIs they're clearly world level yeah, good, yeah. Um, but I think what myself and Owen can do is different uh, and that's selling and I think it would be a great spectacle I think we'd sell it out I think it'd be a huge event and I actually think it could be one of the biggest events in the UK uh, and I say that with full confidence in myself because I've seen what you know I fought Hulk as a main event at Raw Grappling, relatively unknown, sold the the place out, did like great pay-per-view sales. Uh, same with Gaojo when I was in that eight-man tournament. I definitely won that match, by the way, uh, and I'd love to get that one back. But I just know that it would be a spectacle and I think it's something that the UK needs. I really do. I think I think the UK needs like, not a rivalry, but it needs that like Nicky Rod Gordon. Like, and we're not that level, so don't, misconstrue what i'm saying i'm not saying i'm gordon his nicky or vice versa but you need that kind of two top guys they've got their own gyms they do their own thing like yeah. big clash uh and i think it'd be be great and that's not me trying to talk my way into a match you know what i mean i'm good do you know what i mean i don't need polaris's money clearly <laughs> but it would be a great match and those are the things that excite me too 
you know what though? I think that's what we're bad with. We're, in the UK, we're bad with that. Like an America would happily then go, I want to fight him and don't give a fuck about the thing. But then you like, you feel like in the UK, you justify yourself to be like, oh yeah, I'm not trying to fuck it. Fight, you want to fight him and that's it, you know? <laughs> no, I do. Yeah, I do. But like, I'm, I just know that some people can take it like in the wrong yeah. way. Do you know what I mean? And it, it's never meant in the wrong way because, you know, like I said, I have tons of respect for him. And I'm, you know, I, I think that goes both ways. Um, and I also appreciate his position. And what I mean by that is he's not looking at going for a world title run. He's not looking at competing in IBJJF and on the circuit to, to win the title. He's just looking at standout matches that could be wild. Uh, it could yeah. wildly disappoint or it could fucking blow the roof off the dome. <laughs> could, you know yeah. what I mean? No, it could, obviously. It can go both yeah. ways. I, I don't doubt it. Um, and I also feel in a weird way that that's not far off my position. You know, I feel like another three, four years... I'll be in this position where I just want super fights and to get paid or to do, you know, mismatches and fun matches. Uh, right now, I still feel very competitive at the high level and I would like to, you know, still have world championship runs and qualify for ADCCs. I'm, you know, I'm only 28. I've got a few years left, but um, I do appreciate his position too. And I, I don't mind jumping in that and fulfilling for him. And, you know, it's also going to raise my profile and, and raise UK grappling because that would have eyes on it. Obviously, if yeah, he's would, involved, yeah. it has eyes anyway, you know. As an attention thing, he's probably the A-side, weirdly, which is great. You know what I mean? He's going to bring some eyes to it. Wicked, I'm down. 